from WDTN and broadcasting in high definition. This is 2 News at 5. First here tonight at 5, we have uncovered new information about a massive fire that destroyed the former Carter Jewelers building in downtown Springfield. Good evening, I'm Mark Allen. And good evening, I'm Katie Eusen. Flames it could be spotted clearly against the early morning sky Sunday near Fountain Avenue and Main Street. Rob Sneed tells us where the investigation stands now in our top story at 5. A huge, massive fire came through here Sunday morning, destroying this entire building. You can see it is still boarded up now. Authorities tell me they're trying to get their hands on some type of surveillance video from the surrounding buildings out here, trying to figure out how this fire got started. A huge plume of fire and smoke could be seen blocks away in downtown Springfield Sunday morning. Firefighters rushed to get these flames under control. Fire Marshal Brian Miller remembers the very moment he arrived to see it all unfold. Prior to my arrival, the roof had collapsed in, uh, into the building, um, and there were several hidden fires uh, below that roofing material that crews were trying to extinguish. No one was inside the building at the moment the roof fell in, but that collapse has hindered the investigation some. Um, because of the collapse, it was very difficult to investigate. Um, as, as I mentioned previously, we have uh, some interviews that we still need to go uh, complete. Um, so at this time, the fire is undetermined. It's the cause. Undetermined for now, but in the meantime, this building will remain boarded up, untouched, until a cause is determined in a couple of days. Fire investigations are slow. I know everybody wants to know the cause right away after the fire, but uh, they take time. And I'm told the value of this building is more than $87,000. Reporting in downtown Springfield, Rob Sneed, 2 News.